I know the big camera did not get any of that, but I think I got some with the GoPro. But I just shot a turkey. Um, I think I almost accidentally collided there because there was just a big group of hens, but I'd been hearing turkeys all morning. You know, there's a bunch of gobblers up in the area, and I've seen turkeys in here, and I know that they come in through here quite a bit. But uh, they came in probably, I don't know, 30 yards. Let me range it. I'll show you. You can see my knock lighted up from here, and I'll show you guys that here in a second. But uh, let me see right where she was. 38 yards is where she, where he was standing, or where she was standing. So, a little bit of a poke, but, uh, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I just held my top pin right on the top of the back of her neck, and, uh, it dropped in and hit it right in the wing button, came up out the opposite side of the neck there, and she was done. Um, I think she went over the hill and flopped over and died. I could hear her flop. Um, I saw some other birds flopping around, but we found our bird, or I think we found our bird. I think I can see her up there. So, we're going to go look at her. So these turkeys, I don't know, you guys can see me. I can't see there's a bad glare, but these turkeys came right down this trail here. And I, yeah, right. These turkeys came down right in here. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see my arrow or not. You can see it laying down right there. That's where those turkeys came in, and that's where I shot her. So, you can see it's a bit of a poke, and I have you guys on a 115 millimeter lens, so... Awesome. All right, we've made it back on the ground. And uh, we're gonna go look at our bird. I hope we can uh, get back up on her. I think I killed her. It looks like the shot looked good. And uh, I think if I'm looking, it's either a big clump of feathers or the bird's wing. Um, I should have killed two. I shot the first one, I knew I cracked the first one. And, uh, and then I went to the second one but my mechanical broadhead was already open from when I took it out of the quiver I was kind of in a rush so I kind of screwed that up but they were both standing right in the same place the second bird didn't move there was like six or seven of them I don't know how many you guys could see on camera frame if any but yeah here we are put my bow down There's the wing butt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show that, but there's the wing. And uh, we're going to go walk down this trail and look on both sides and see if we can't see her. We're going to go ahead and just walk up this trail and uh, see if we can't see our bird up here. I think she, I think I saw her flop down and just tumble down the downhill side of this little slope. So, if not, I think it looks like we got, oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, real good blood trail. Real good blood trail. Hopefully, she's dead right up here somewhere. We're gonna keep following blood. Looks like we got some right there. Some blood over here. I think I see our turkey. Yeah, I think that's our turkey right there. See her down there? That's definitely her right there. Heck yeah, let's go take a look at her. She won a decent amount and she was bleeding heavy. Blood right there, all right there. There she is, right there. Awesome. Heck yeah. She's she's done done. Awesome. Heck yeah. Beautiful turkey. Beautiful turkey. So excited. Well, here she is. I say she because, yes, this is a hen, but 
legally in Missouri during the fall archery season, you get two turkey tags and two deer tags, um, and they can be either sex for either one. Uh, there's regulations that go for both species, but this is really cool. I have never killed a bird um, in the fall. This is my first fall bird. Beautiful bird, you can tell, beautiful fan. Uh, came in with like six other hens, six, seven, eight other hens. I couldn't count, I was getting too nervous. I shot her at 38 yards, and you might be wondering why I shot her so far, but turkeys are very wary about stuff in trees. You know, they roost in trees, they know what should be in trees, so they kind of pick stuff out pretty quickly in them. Um, but I'm super excited about this. You know, the, the mega meat went straight through her, hit her right in the back of the, uh, right through the wing butt. That's where you guys got to see me actually cut her wing off, and then right out of her uh, neck on the opposite side. So she would, she didn't go very far, maybe 25 yards. Um, most of that was probably flopping down this hill anyway. Um, so I'm super excited about it, but we're gonna go ahead and um, get her tagged, uh, breasted out, and we're gonna go ahead and have turkey. This is also the second kill with my Hoyt VTM 31. Um, I've been loving this bow, you know. Yesterday, yesterday was when I shot my first deer with it, and today is my first turkey with it, so. So far, so good, and I can't complain too much.